the unknown. The stories that Hobbes had told us are exciting. The amazing things that we might see on a journey such as this made all that danger worthwhile. There were five of us, including Dogmean, and I swore to myself that five of us would come back. Ruka was left in charge while we were gone. Oren might disagree, but a decision needed to be made. Park trusted Ruka a lot, and I trust Park, so the choice was easy. Production would go on the back burner, but for an expedition like this, it was worthwhile. The treasures we might find, the knowledge we can bring back. Like everything, there's a price. I just hope this won't be so steep. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Kenshi. We're back with our warriors. Not the, not the dreamers, the dreamers are still back home, but our warriors who are exploring, making their way to World's End. And we've actually just happened to, at the end of that cinematic, come right up alongside the hub. So I am going to say it's probably worthwhile us stopping in here to resupply. And we can even stop in at the Shinobi Thieves and have a look to see if they have anything interesting for sale. Something to note, and something that I've missed while working with the Shinobi Thieves is... Well, they, uh, well, when we sell them things, we're selling them at 50% cost, so <laughs> we're not making all that we could there. So we need to be mindful of that in the future. Now, we could try and pick up a little bit more food here. Not terrible nutrition from the food cube, but it is expensive. Yeah. We get the same amount for Gohan for a lot less. It's a kg and it only costs 500. A lot better in my book. We'll go ahead and put that in the backpack. Don't think there's anything else in here specifically that we're going to want and or need on our run. So we'll go ahead and just call it at that. And you know what? We're going to have the others just stay over here for now as Sand goes and has a chat with the Shinobi Thieves to see exactly what they might want from us. And Sand, we're going to go ahead and put you on your full sprint for now so that you can get in there as quickly as possible. Work back at home is going to be happening at a slower rate than normal. Well, because we've got less people, but there isn't going to be as much crafting going on as well. It's going to be more focusing on the raw resources because they're a little easier for us to get without uh, micromanaging. So let's see who is going to be selling us some things here. Some of the backpack on. We don't see anyone here maybe upstairs let's see what of you well we can talk to you but i think you're just the um yeah no we don't we i think we could go for a haircut for sand eventually but uh, we're not quite there i don't think we need it yet but that is the person we're after let's go and have a chat let's see what they have um, okay, so we have some blades, guardless katanas, among other things, and we also have the black rag shirts. Not bad. Um, hmm. These small thief backpacks don't actually give you any negative at all. And they're actually pretty affordable. So you could get away with wearing those pretty much all the time. Um, that's a good price. That's a really, really decent price. Don't think we're going to look at getting anything else from here. So, if we were looking to spend a little bit, we could go for that. Fog mask. Hmm. 100% protection from dust and gas storms. Pretty decent protection. And it doesn't actually seem to give us a negative to perception. Interesting. I wonder if we could swap that out for this one here. We've got 2135. This is close to being as good it's not quite as good when it comes to the blunt resistance it's light armor whereas i think this is considered medium yeah and this is 70 percent head coverage you know what? i think we're going to pick that up we're going to pick up the fog mask and we're going to pick up a 
I'm just thinking if it'd be worth us getting a light backpack. Because the others are all backpacked. Hobbs only has the scavenger backpack. What if we could sell that from here? Do you reckon we can give this to you? From all the way back there? Nah, out of trading range. Yeah, so you can't sell either. Hmm. 1500 cats. Yeah, it's not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal. I think we can store a lot more of that though. That's the only thing. No, it's unnecessary. I feel like just because I'm here, I want to buy. But uh, no, we're going to say we're going to say no for now. And I think we're going to. I think I'm going to swap out. Yeah, because Rain actually doesn't have any headgear at the moment. So we'll go ahead. We're going to put that on sand. Let's see how he's looking. Interesting sand. Very interesting. And as for Rain, let's go ahead and um, get sand to head back on over towards you. And then we'll get you equipped with some headgear. Because everyone else here is all geared up. Hobbs has got his cool hat on. He's all set, ready to go. And Sand's sprinting back as fast as he can. Should be able to make it back here before long. There you go, buddy. Okay, now Sand, we're going to make sure that we get you back onto your group run. And go ahead and trade with Rain, thank you. There we go. Excellent. Okay, now Park. Yeah, you don't have anything at the moment. You are using martial arts. Fantastic. Okay, let's get this group together. And we're going to send them all the way up to here. Now, I have no idea what path they're going to run on. So far, they have kind of picked their own path, which, funnily enough, took them right along the hub. Just goes to show you that the roads will lead you more than likely towards settlements. The next being from a pier stack, which we would rather not be dealing with. So I'm going to hope this is going to be more of a run throughout the wilderness. And it is going to be quite a run. So this episode is going to be jumping forward in parts as we uh, continue on throughout this. More often than not, I'm going to be running at two speed. It's just a little safer while we are running these greater distances. But it's not always as entertaining to watch that. So I'm going to be jumping ahead until we reach a new uh, area or until we have something interesting happen. Something potentially like this. Ah, uh, no, there's the slave mongers. Okay. I thought we might have some nomads there we could trade with, but no. Alas, they are not. So, guys and gals, I shall see you all in a moment. And we're quickly checking back in with our group here. Um, we do have some cattle roaming ahead of us. That's some potential meat we could look at acquiring, but there's quite a few of them, and generally they're pretty well uh, armoured, and in the in the terms that they've got this kind of bulky head on them. Takes a bit to take down the vital pieces on them, so we're going to be avoiding them, but in the distance, as I kind of predicted, we can see stacks, so it seems like this path will take us well into Holy Nation territory, and we know that that can have some interesting effects for us. Now, we aren't traveling with Ruka this time, so that means that we won't get sheltered at for her having an artificial limb. But still, I feel like if the Holy Nation sees us out here, they might find one reason or another to come after us. No one here should look like a Holy Nation slave, but sometimes they decide that, well, they don't like you very much. In the distance, we can see Rebirth up in these hills. We can actually see the birds circling from very, very far away. And we're making it, slowly but surely. We're going to be threading the needle, I think, between the Holy Base and the Holy Farm here. I'm wondering if we are going to make it up through the hills here, going around Rebirth, or if we're going to go into this unknown territory here which will be just as exciting we'll find out soon enough won't we i will see you all again in a moment and it hasn't been all that long we have encountered along our way our first group here and apparently there is a a bit of a, a talk going on here at the moment. I can't actually tell if it's Sand that's talking about this, and I think it is. He's talking to Hobbs, I believe, saying, So, uh, 
have been traveling for a while now. You've not mentioned your legend since the bar. Talking to Hobbs about his legend, the one he once spoke of. <clears throat> legend? Uh, what legend? The legend you joined us with to search for the Wailing Banshee or whatever it was. I'm getting nervous. We might want to hold back here. Something about truffles. Wailing Banshee? Uh, I don't know. That sounds awfully silly. We made it through. Seriously? Bun. Hmm. Hobbs. Hobbs, I think you're losing it, buddy. And that's all. The story was just told to confuse us. Um, they don't care about us right now. That is great. That is some really good news. Also considering... <laughs> something that I didn't consider. Park has a freaking 23,000 bounty. And Sand has a $10,000 bounty for terrorism in the Holy Nation. <laughs> Yeah, um, something to think about when we're approaching those groups in the future. I was just, I didn't want to interrupt the little conversation there, but I feel like maybe that should have been a priority. <sighs> so, yes, it looks like we are coming up to the first holy farm here as we enter Ochran's Pride. Going past the weird kind of shelter thing. And who do we have here? Oh, are they? No, they're Holy Nation. Yeah, let's not talk to you then. It's just a Holy Nation trade caravan. I really want to get us a bull or a garu for carrying supplies, but uh, alas, I think that's not going to happen. It's an impressive shrine and one we recognize, but one we'll ignore for now. Swamp Raptors. Looks like they're going to be roaming in on the farm. And now this is going to be the real telling thing. Are we going to take a left here? Or are we going to take a right? Right leads us into rebirth. It looks like we're going left. If that's the case. We're... Oh no, we're going right. Ah. Uh, okay. I wasn't anticipating that at all. Looks like we're going to follow up and around this way. There is a small chance that they will have no idea where they're going. And they won't really be able to figure that out. We're under attack from two bone dogs. We could try and fight them to get a little bit of extra experience, but I'm a little nervous about doing too much damage to us on the road. You know what? I think we should be able to handle this group here. Let's go ahead and get to our first bit of combat for today's episode. As we all start to rush back in. Let's see how we do. Oh, god damn, Park coming in with that jump kick to start. God damn, savage there. Yeah, we're taking some damage, but Park is just making seriously quick work of our enemies. Just 70 damage. That's incredibly impressive. Hobbs got a little stunned there, but uh, overall he's doing okay. We might as well take some supplies from these bone dogs. Um, we're going to go ahead and get Hobbs to put on, or rather Park to put on his backpack, purely just because. Oh, was that Hobbs or was that Park? It should have been Park. There we go. We can stack some of these things. So we'll go ahead and start stacking. Go to the other bone dog and stack away. There we go. So we have options there. Now, you three, how are we looking overall? Yeah, a little bit of damage. Hobbs is okay. Rain's doing fine. Nothing that we can't recover while running. And I don't think that's going to slow us down much at all. So go ahead again, click on World's End. And they're off just like that. Or heading off in that direction. First little bit of combat. Nothing that we can't handle. Especially with Park able to just absolutely throw down. And apparently my voice is going. So once again, we're going to disappear until we have trouble. And hopefully it's not trouble with this group here. And just a quick note. While I would love to fight groups of Holy Sentinels like this. It's not really possible for us at this stage we would get absolutely wiped and then once our bounties are discovered we would be returned to here 
to work those bounties off or locked up in some prison somewhere until time has passed on by sometimes indefinitely so yeah better for us to not fight them for now we're returning back to those hills where they're going to take us I am not so sure now I'm following the path that they want to take there are other ways that you can go to get certain places but I'm letting them path it they know the map they have this information the information that we have it's up to them to decide which way they want to go if they really want to go around this way I'm not going to stop them I know that there are going to be some um, potential roadblocks so that'll make things interesting for us on our journey <sighs> we'll see if we end up anywhere new or if we end up going along familiar paths I'm gonna think that we're probably gonna take a right here and that we're gonna try and skirt around the outside it looks like that's the case well guys and gals I will see you all again very soon and here we have our first sign of another Ochronite settlement. This is Blister Hill, a place that we'll want to try to avoid, as I think we're going to be approaching that now. Let's just hope that the guards are not so, well, perceptive. It's a pretty cool looking settlement from the outside though. You know, just built right up in against this, and I'm a little afraid that they're going to try and path through this place. If that's the case, if that's what they were thinking they were going to try and do, that makes me incredibly nervous. I really don't know whether or not they're just going to let us run through here. If we run with enough speed and purpose, sometimes you can get away with all kinds of things. So we'll see if that's what they intend to do. Please tell me that's not the case. Just keep on running. Okay, that makes me very happy. Very, very happy. Looks like we are going around. Where exactly, I am not sure. This is all new territory for me now. And this is what I was kind of wanting to wait to get to. Because we're going to be exploring this place together. Um, I'm not going to be skipping through areas that we haven't really explored before. And god damn, the Fertile Valley just looks so beautiful. One of the only places of like really wide open green in Kinshi that isn't covered in fog. <clears throat> and I'm assuming we're going to be following that pathway there. Probably trying to make our way back into the mountains. Now, I do remember seeing... Um, when we were initially escaping with Park and Sand, some ruins down the bottom. Maybe we can investigate those now, but I also remember seeing many, many horrible looking creatures down there. And over here, it would seem that we have some escaped servants and an inquisitor. Yeah, I can see a clash happening here and they're actually, they were running for a moment there Yep, it's because I've seen them. Are we going to try and do anything here? I mean, the thing is, you've got this guy here, an Inquisitor. Very, very good at what they do. High Paladin, High Paladin, High Paladin. you got just Paladins and High Paladins in this party here. The Inquisitor is a high-ranking official. We can't afford to be in that fight. So we're going to have to find our way around it. Don't like it. But we don't have to. It is difficult to walk away from that. But we're going to need to for now. It looks like we're going to be crossing this bridge. And that that is an incredibly impressive bridge. A bridge of old. Still standing, barely. Now I mentioned we might actually be able to swim up this river a good long ways, but it would be very, very slow. Yeah, we've gone right around. 
And interestingly enough, I've I've never come to World's End this way, so I don't even know if it's possible. We'll find out eventually as we make our way up into the hills. Again, quite a different looking biome from what we've seen before. We're going to go step it, speed up a little bit further. And we're just going to try and keep our eyes out for movement. It's always a little bit more difficult once we get vegetation. And we've discovered a holy farm. I imagine probably, uh, yeah, further down that way. We will not worry about that farm. Not now. Not when we've got other potential things to worry about. I don't know what we'll find in these woods. But it makes me a little uneasy. We're just going to stop and let things load for a little bit. Seems like this is quite an isolated um, grouping of trees. I actually know it's not. There's more of it. It's just uh, loading in. Okay. Continue on, team. Do what you need to do. Not seeing anything yet. Good. Ochran's Valley. Probably an interesting place to try and plop down somewhere. But because of the amount of trees that are around here, that can also be an issue because we can't remove them. And I'm imagining more of those trees are about to start spawning in. So we'll let the game do its thing. I'm actually really surprised that we haven't encountered more people on the roads. We haven't seen any hungry bandits. Or starving bandits for that matter. Which is... I don't know. I'm not complaining. But it's strange. Ah. Nope. They are... They are skeletons. Actually, quite possibly the same skeletons that we've run into before. Now, they, some of them have bounties on their heads and the Holy Nation. Uh, we're not going to disturb them. We're going to let them do their thing. But I think this could actually be the same group that Park and Sand ran into while initially walking among the hills outside of Rebirth. Interesting. What are they looking for? Or are they just patrolling? Wandering throughout the hills, trying to find a purpose. Or even a porpoise. They're going to have a much harder time finding a porpoise, but... One must try. We've got a very different looking region here. Let's check in on the map and see how far we're making it. Coming into a more of a deserted region here, but we've made it a long ways from home. Home's all the way back, um, all the way back down here. We will have to check in on Squin and see if we need to sell off anything. Looks like we're actually inside of a, an ancient crater of some kind. Now that would kind of be a cool place for a base. You could effectively wall off either side of this crater. It, it would be a massive base, mind you, but um, yeah. It's not exactly flat, but I think you'd have a hard time getting somewhere there is. Most of the time you have to try and work with the geography that's around you. And I think for the first time since Sand was a child, he's seeing that great open desert once again. A desert that he wandered into while he was young. After being separated from his family, his mother and father captured by cannibals. Yeah. And then after collapsing in the desert, he was taken in by manhunters who sold him off to the Holy Nation, where he spent most of his youth at rebirth. We have ourselves another farm. How nice. And escaped servants. No doubt hungry, searching for food out here. It looks like we're going to get our first night on the road as the sun's slowly starting to set. The moon high in the sky. And our path continuing. I'm trying to get a look at the sun, but without clipping through the ground. Not always an easy task. Beautiful. Beautiful scenery, though. And I got distracted by the beautiful scenery because we have hungry bandits. 
There we go. Look at that. And they don't actually seem to care about us at all. So obviously they're not that hungry. They're the malnourished bandits. And perhaps they are too hungry to fight. Or they deemed us to be too much of a threat. Who knows? They might have their eyes set elsewhere. But that's only just a very small glimpse at that great desert. Because that uh, lies beyond all the rest. Closer to our destination. Slowly but surely. Making our way. And I really do truly hope that we can actually make it from this side. <laughs> Um, I can't be certain, but this is leading us up into the mountains, so it is looking good for us. Who knows, this is this is probably the main route that you're meant to go to get to World's End, but I just went the really difficult way when I was playing through by myself. The Arm of Ochran. Impressive. It's leading us high, 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 high up into the mountains. Higher than Rebirth, higher than much beautiful starry sky and let's just let things cool down for a bit here there's a lot of a lot of loading going on and we'll try and get some well angles that we can actually see what's going on as we're climbing up these slopes it's gonna be difficult to operate the camera throughout here a lot of different winding paths it would seem eight ration pack okay Let's just check in with Sand to see how they're doing there. Got three ration packs left and some Gohan. Let's hope that's going to last us at least to get there. We can buy more food for a return journey. As this is more of a, a trade mission than anything. Damn, we're high up now. And look, yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're actually getting there. That's it. We freaking did it. The city and the sky. How about everyone moves up together, yeah? I think that's going to be safer. World's end. And here are the gates. And I think this is where things might get a little bit disheartening for our troop as they approach. We see statues. Statues of the Emperor. The very same large, or rather the Phoenix, I believe it is. But it's the same person that was carved into stone in rebirth. It would seem that uh, Ocran touches here too, but there's something different. The guards here, they're a Sheik. There are Scorchlanders, and they're not in chains. So something's amiss, something's not right. Not right for an Ocranite settlement, that is. And that seems to be the case, because we're allowed to pass through without any issues. Now, our main troop, we're probably gonna stay in the bars, and there's, there's a few of them. We've got four bars here. Four bars. Yeah. And a number of other structures. Namely, a very large structure at the back. We've got some selling to do here. But first of all, we are going to pop back home to see how everyone's doing. Hambu. Oh no. Hambu's hungry. Buddy. Is everyone hungry? It could mean that we are lacking food at home. Are both Firebone and Kiji out here? Looks like everyone's actually out and working, which means that, uh... Well, Hong might still be here. Yeah, Hong Hong is still working on that leather. It's kept you busy for a very long time, though, which is great. How are we looking? 45 pieces of iron. Very freaking nice. Uh, we'll check down below as well. Um, the second it finishes loading, we'll be able to do that. Any moment now. Uh, but we're gonna have to bring one of the others back for us to be able to sell some of the things here. So let's just have a look. Oh, we're at capacity. Okay, alright, so Ziff, let's get you running back. Um, Lo and Kedji are coming back as well. 
Yeah, so we're going to have to sell off a fair bit of this for us to be able to um, keep the cats flowing. How are we looking on food? No, we've still got heaps of food. We're looking fine. Looking fine. Don't worry, team. Kedgy, you are very fast getting back here. Ziff, there you go. Lo, I'm guessing you're returning, grabbing some food. Very nice. All right, have a word, Ziff, have a word. Let's see. All right, we'll just pause that there. We'll go ahead and we'll make some cats. Don't think we're actually going to be able to sell all of this, though. Nope, we cannot. <laughs> uh, so we're probably going to have to wait until the morning before we can really sell the rest of that off. And speak of the devil, come back. Spot and Harbu are under attack. Uh, but by whom? Ah, we have some bandits. Bandits of the hungry variety. Uh, now we do have some others that are a little bit closer that might be able to come and help us out. Um, let's see. Yeah, Obelum and Firebone, they're kind of close. I'm in the mindset that I think Spot and Hanbu could handle themselves here, but we are going to send them over to help. So, come and attack this bandit if you could. I think Lo is actually coming up to help as well. Operating machine, maybe not. They might have a bit of a hard time here. They should be able to get a few hits in, but uh, they do have the numbers on us right now. Might be safer for us to just try and run back towards the gates. Getting them experience is nice, but at the same time, it's extra damage that we don't need to be taking right now. And... They are more focused on work than anything. Hanbu looks like he's going to be a little bit slower. He could have some mess in his pack. Bag check, that's fine. Ziff, you might actually be able to come and assist them here. <laughs> he's just completely outrunning them at the moment. Looks like Hanbu is in trouble, but not in too much trouble. Just get a little bit further, get the guard's attention. If you wouldn't mind. Come on, Hanbu, you can make it, buddy. No, he can't. He's unconscious. He's getting back up. There you go, bud. Get running. You can make it. It's a little bit further, Hanbu. I actually have no idea why the guards aren't helping us. There we go. A bit slow off the mark, but they got there eventually. Okay. Hanbu, buddy, we need to get you back and resting. Regardless of whether or not you make it out of that, you're unconscious at the moment. Okay, ain't gonna happen. Spot, if you can, go on block. Wait for the others to come and assist you. Ziff is jumping in. <laughs> yes, check my bags. Now, now help. Thanks. Appreciate that. Okay, Hong's coming out to assist as well. One of them did 106 damage then. Ziff, what a good dude. Rescuing Hanbu, making sure he's going to get to safety. And we'll make sure that he does get to safety. <clears throat> Come morning, we're going to sell our things off here. And that also means that back at World's End, we'll be able to sell our bits and pieces off as well. Okay, I'm not sure if Habu is actually going to get proper treatment there. He's in a recovery coma, so he is going to recover. It's just going to take him a little bit longer to recover. Uh, Spot, you should come back and rest as well. Let's see, Kiji, you do have the ability to offer some first aid here, so I'd like it if you could come along and do that. That would be swell. Firebone, you've also got some. I'm not sure who was closer, but we'll get one or the others. Obelum and Lo are now in trouble. That looks like they've got Firebone with them, and it is just a bone dog, so the lot of them should be able to handle themselves here. So, Dreamers, Firebone... Let's get you involved as well. We're taking you off passive. Even though I know you're not much of a fighter. Just having the extra number in there will make a difference. Actually, god damn it. <laughs> just, just being in proximity is enough to nearly knock out Firebone. So, you know what? Stay passive. Just just do what you need to do. Low and, low and Obelum have got this under control. Come on, Low. It's funny, you leave them alone for this time, and, and now they're all the attacks are coming in. Just one very aggressive bone dog. Can we can we attack its chest, maybe? Come on, team, you got this. Its legs munted. But it's still doing a lot of damage to us. 
Come on, take this thing down. The stomach attacks are helping. Actually, speaking of helping, it'd be nice if you guys could help, maybe. Now, nomads. And low is down. Come on, Obelum. You got this. No, you don't. No, you do not. I... Uh, I really thought that they had that. <laughs> um, I'm thinking it's... Yeah, it was being territorial. It was pissed off. Um, can we, can we maybe rescue them? Um, I think we might be far enough away that we can't actually rescue. So, Firebone, how about you go pick up? Uh, Ziff, we're gonna need you out here as well. Now, I think they're both gonna be unconscious, but not actually in danger of directly dying right now. Um, well, that's, uh, that's something that's, uh, it's going to take a little while for our production to get back up and running, but, you know, these things happen, right? Um, right, so, Firebone, let's get you to go ahead and put them in bed. Kichi is assisting here, which is nice. Ziff is going to be heading over now. Running over as fast as you can, please, Ziff. Um, Garu are being incredibly aggressive there. Nobody move. A little bit late for that, buddy. We're already running past. Because we need you to. To go and grab low. Thank you very much. Now please bring low back and make sure that low gets the treatment that she needs. Put in bed. Okay. Quickly check on spot. Alright, spot's looking good. Hanbu, you need to rest for a lot longer than that, buddy. I know you want to get back to work, but not yet. He's got a good work ethic, but I feel like he really needs to take care of himself a little bit better. Okay, we're actually nearly at time now. Uh, seeing as Firebone's here, we're going to be able to get Firebone to do some medicking, which is nice. And Ziff is now under attack. Oh, by the Garu that followed us the entire way into the town? Okay. Alright. Yep, that's the thing that happened. Okay. Yep. They followed us the whole way here. God damn. That's, uh, that is some territorial behavior right there. Um, now, the others, if they weren't down, I think they would actually um, loot them. Oblum, what are you doing? Stop that. Get back in bed. Stop that. <laughs> she was going down to try and help in the fight. I admire that tenacity, but come on. We've got our whole group down here now. Even Hong was getting involved, yeah. Okay. Alright, low, low, no. No, stop. Stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? Everybody, just rest, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Firebone's gonna come up here, do some healing. Kiji's gonna do the same. They're going to recover, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Jeepers. Right, we're going to get some extra cats, um, so let's go ahead and take either Kiji or Firebone. Because they both can assist us with this. And we're going to go ahead and sell some of the goods that we've been uh, kind of acquiring over this time. And also buying some of our basic things again. It's always going to be good for us to keep that topped up. Let's trade. So we're going to go ahead and trade you a whole heap of this. And you're going to say, yes, thank you. And then, let's go up here. I'm gonna sell you a whole heap of this. Yes, thank you. Okay. Alright, let's see. We're gonna go to the leather. Drop that off there. If we can, maybe? It's like... It's just behind here. Alright, fine. That's fine. Oh, it's animal skin. Anyway. And that's not where I wanted that to go. I wanted that to go over there, but... I cannot see it, because your backpack's too big. Um, okay. Let's figure out a way to do this. We're gonna go ahead. We have to close your backpack. Now we can take everything across. There we go. Nice and easy. Uh, alright, so we'll grab those iron plates while we're here. And we'll also get the hemp and that cotton. So, where are we storing those currently? I think we have a hemp barrel up here. Yes, we do get that. And as for the cotton, that just goes straight into the machine. 
Now we do have some wheat straw. We'll pick that up at the same time. And we'll get the cacti at the same time. I'm having a very hard time getting that barrel. There we go. And that's a much better supply of wheat straw. Let's see. We actually have some grog in there, which is fantastic. We'll go drop those cacti off. Um, I don't know if we have cacti being stored anywhere else. So I guess we might just be able to store them in general storage. Don't know whether or not uh, they will be collected from there. I guess we'll find out one day. Uh, we didn't grab the rest of the cotton. There we go. Okay, I think that's everything that we want to buy right now. We could just sell off this one thing of grog. Get a thousand cats back. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so that's the selling done there. Let's go back to sand. Right, so let's see. Do we have any inter interesting individuals in this bar? That's something that we can always have a look at at night. I think we're going to be more interested in having a look at uh, the shops here and seeing what they have for sale. So we have an armor merchant to start with. Let's go ahead and see what they might have. We're after, you know, blueprints more than anything here. Yeah, so we can see that this uh, Ronin trader is a Ronin hat trader uh, and a member of the Tech Hunters. So all the hats you could ever want, it would seem. Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay. Masked helmet, iron hat, armored face plates, armored hood, rat and hat. We're not looking at making any kind of special hat yet. Um, visored helmet, not bad. It just gives you a minus to your perception bonus. Pretty decent helmet. Armored hood is good, but it does give you a minus to your uh, melee attack and defense. Tin can, even more so. But I imagine it's pretty damn protective. We're not going to buy any hat um, blueprints. So we'll go ahead, have a look at some of the other places that are here. Okay. Might be something interesting in here, but I think it's probably still... Okay, what? Sorry? I still hear the screams in my dreams, in my wake. Okay, where, who are you from? You're cannibal hunters. So you you hunt cannibals? Let's just have a talk to them. Real quick here. Yeah. Oh. So we can say my friend's been captured by cannibals? Um. You hunt cannibals? Yeah. Got a cannibal problem that needs taken care of. Um, no, just curious. Interesting? Okay, I haven't encountered that group before. Hmm. Cannibal hunters. Okay. When I think cannibal hunters, I think people that are cannibals that are hunters, not hunters that hunt cannibals, but yeah. Uh, I'm looking for ancient science books. Well, I think we might actually be able to find some here, and sure enough ancient science books but they're really expensive so yeah we have to be careful about what we buy um it's uh, yeah yeah it's 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 gonna cost us ten thousand to get two of those <laughs> so it's it's expensive that's for sure um we're gonna think about it we're gonna think about it we did come here to get things like that but um you know, we, d we do have limited cats here, so we need to be a little cautious with how we spend our funds. So it looks like we've got a weird conjointed place here. We've got all kinds of things. Um, yeah, it's called Travel and Repairs. Repairs being, I think, robotic limbs. We're going to head across to weapons, first of all. But that, I think, will be interesting for our dear Ruka. We might be able to finally get her something good. Um, and something else that's kind of worth noting. We don't. We haven't stolen from the Sheik. Because, you know, we trust the Sheik. Um, we honor the Sheik. Uh, and we've become part of their society in a sense. Um, this place here is not the same, really. <laughs> the rules don't apply as much here as they did back there. So, you know, we might potentially end up stealing the stuff from here. You know? That's a whole heap of different uh, 
blueprints and different weapons here and that samurai helmet seems really freaking cool it, 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 this is something that you'd only really be able to wear once you're a very very skilled swordsperson wakazashi's expensive lots of cool cool um, blueprints that we definitely want to try and get uh, we're gonna head back into here as well we're, we're essentially we're caching the place right now because <laughs> sand sand's not a bad thief um, his thievery isn't as good as I would want it to be, but uh, it's it's on its way to somewhere. And we hope that we're not going to be on our way to prison. We'll see. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's great. Um, they're proper skeleton limbs. Um, which are really quite decent compared to the economy legs. They're going to be a lot better. Uh, we can see that it's a minus to stealth and swimming, but... Um, there's no minus to athletics actually in fact the scout leg gives you a plus to it so yeah stealth leg only gives you the minus to swimming so i think the stealth leg must be even more expensive right yeah it is by just a bit there and then we have the arms as well um that's in maps camp shelter and mercenary tent yeah we're not gonna worry about any of those we're just going to keep on working our way along. So we have a armor merchant here, and then we have a... Looks like it could be crossbows. Very interesting. And then this structure, of course. We'll have to see what awaits us inside of there. Let's have a chat, Sand. Okay, so, yeah. Interesting things. Unholy chest plate. Very nice. I'm guessing, yeah, that's that's essentially the Holy Nation's armor, but not with it being their armor. Yeah, so it, it doesn't count as faction armor. They they, they are they're great chess pieces. They they are really decent. Hmm, some good stuff. I wouldn't mind getting them. I also would rather not pay for them if we can. We will see if we can. We will see. Because, um, I mean, these people seem pretty capable. But also, I mean, we don't see them taking the fight to the Holy Nation. That's our plan. That's our goal. That's what we're working towards. It's not just to make a profit. We're making a profit so that we can do these things. Um, some really good crossbows. Really, really good crossbows. Very nice. Let's go ahead and run up this final structure. See what awaits us, Sand. Have a look inside. And it's a nice big structure. Lots of things just kind of hanging out right now. And you know what? We're going to, um, we're going to make use of that. Um, let's see. Do we have a minus to our stealth right now? as sand yes we do we have a significant uh, negative to that so let's see what's going to be causing that well the rusty chainmail so we'll go ahead and take that off and then everything's fine that's literally the only thing that was giving us a negative okay so while we're here we're going to go ahead and grab a few things so let's just move that back away and we'll go ahead and take that book committing a crime we want to make sure that we wait for that to go away we can just kind of double up Okay, we've got someone coming down the stairs. Okay, it's gone away. We'll go ahead and start just walking normally, casually. See, Sand's a big guy, but he hasn't really... We haven't toned up that muscle yet. We're getting there. Not yet. So we have all these folks wandering down here. Do we have anything else interesting on this side here? No, a grind machine. Okay, we can actually hear machines working on an upper level, so let's go ahead and... Oh, I think I may have just crashed the game. Ah, that is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. I don't know how far back we're going to get thrown. Um, that's only the second crash we've had this entire time we've been playing Kenshi, so I'm not upset. Let's just hope it's not too far. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I don't think we actually lost that much time at all 
Um, no, we didn't. Okay, so Sand's still here. It's before he's gone inside, so... We'll go ahead and just remove that shirt once again, and we'll try and follow the same path that we did before. Hopefully being able to grab just a few of the basic books before we try and make our way up to the second level of this place. Go ahead and start seeking, sneaking, Mr. Sand. Um, oh, there's... Oh, there is. Okay. I was like, there's nothing in here. Uh, actually, in saying that, though, there isn't actually all that much in here. There's some sake. And that's about it. Okay. What about elsewhere? Okay. We've got books. We can't actually see the stealing chance. Stealing chance there is actually pretty good to steal the cup. Um, is there anything else here worth stealing? Not really. We can have a look inside of those. Nope, not seeing anything. Okay, well I guess... I guess not. I guess they're not here this time. Or, well no, they're not in our inventory, so yeah. Uh, we do need to remember that if we try and sell that... <laughs> that, uh... Who we've stolen it from. We've stolen it from Finch, apparently. So I don't know if Finch is the person who owns this place or not, but... Someone that we might need to be wary of. God damn your far sand. Let's have a look inside of there. Another book. Notes on the Leviathan Coast. Okay, we're just having a look inside. We're not doing anything too crazy. And yeah, here we have something of an interesting level. We have someone walking towards us here. A skeleton. Probably one of the first that we've ever had the chance to talk to. Low? Ilo? I'm not sure. Hmm. Keep loitering our aisles, Roma, and you'll end up trampled by sleep-deprived scientists. What brings you to World's End University? Do you need something? Uh, university. Can you tell me something about this place? Here we study and analyze lost tech from the ancient world. Slowly but surely, we're uncovering the secrets of our forgotten history. The problem is that most runes have already been scavenged, making it difficult to develop accurate theories without solid evidence. So that's where our tech hunters come in. They scour the unexplored lands for any possible remains we can use in our research. If you're interested in adventuring, our stores pay good money for relics. Make sure that you bring anything you find to us, okay? Strange inflictions. I had some questions about your work. Did you have something in mind? There's not a great deal of information that I can enlighten you that hasn't already been documented in our records. Can you teach me about the world? About the history of... Where did we come from? With all due respect, Drifter, asking me to sum up the history of the world is not much different to asking a doctor to teach you medicine in 10 minutes. On top of that, many scientists have different theories on events. I suggest you browse through our library if you are interested to know more. What about the Holy Nation, then? They talk of a first extinction. What do you know of it? The first extinction? I personally believe it to be a plague epidemic, but Mr. Finch stands firmly by it being a freak tornado. Whatever it was, it appears that the skeleton was better equipped to survive it. But human nature is to scapegoat, in particular those that are different from them. Our physical differences, in a time of panic and turmoil, only provoke further fear and clinging to ideas of blame. Hence, the condemnation of my kind as playing a part in the downfall by the Holy Nation. You've existed for a long time, right? Way back to the ancient times. You don't remember anything? The memory of a skeleton is not as long-lasting as our bodies, unfortunately. I don't even remember if I existed with the ancient race or not. Trust me, it's highly frustrating for a theorist to have possibly existed at the very time period they are dedicated to investigating. What about the ancients, then? And how did we come to be? Mr. Finch believes all organics to be direct descendants of smaller tribes outside of the ancient society. And the ancients? 
we think that they would have lived disconnected from the rest of the world. A deadly disease could have killed them off while leaving the skeletons and other tribes unaffected. But again, there are many different theories on how we all came to be. Well, thanks, I guess. Okay, well, Sans learnt a little bit more about the world. And there was talk of a Mr. Finch. So perhaps there is a Mr. Finch here that we can speak with. We can see that there's an electrical workbench here. A medical workbench. A robotics bench. All kinds of interesting things. Oh gosh, a research bench. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't see anyone else that we can talk to on this level. So more than likely it is going to be the next level that we need to go to. But before we do that, you know, we got to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a look around let's see rum barrels empty rum barrels is there anything here building materials uh, there's a book uh, it's a little risky just taking these books as well would be incredibly risky seeing as we can't actually see what the chance to steal would be um, I'd be very anxious about trying to unlock that ancient safe while everyone's still just chilling about here. We can have a look in cabinets and stuff like that. Yeah, another one that's not probably what we're after. Um, we can have a look at these chests, but we're going to have to wait until nightfall, which is uh, a few hours away from where we are at the moment. Um, we might be able to get away with picking the lock on this thing here, though. I think there's a very small chance that someone would see us over here in this corner. So let's see if we can do that. Just no one come this way. Pick success, okay. I guess the good thing about picking like that, we haven't had anything else pop up there about us committing a crime. Okay, mass extinction. The Legend of Foul Hand. Yeah, I think us trying to pick something like that would be a little bit more difficult. Rather taking it. Yeah. Alright, we're going to stop sneaking. We're just going to be us. I'm going to put in a quick save here, just in case going to the next level crashes. And we'll see if we can find this Mr. Finch. Up we go. Okay. Mr. Finch. No, just more mechanists. And tech hunters. Okay, well. Ah, Finch. A hiver. Very interesting. Let's see if we can have a chat. Cool specs there. Interrupting my thought processes, this better be important. Always thought I'd find peace and quiet working here, but no, I just get nosy adventurers asking too many questions. Uh, what is this place? Well, why not just take a look around, genius? Books, workbenches, worked it out yet? This is a university. From here, we sent tech hunters northwest to salvage relics and samples. It's then my team's job to piece together the history and lost tech of our ancient ancestors. I thought the Holy Nation were against all things tech-related. The Holy Nation, that's got to do with the... Oh, right. I guess you're referring to the statues of the Lord Phoenix outside. No more than decoys is all they are. We're not affiliated with the Holy Nation, despite appearances, but the statues keep them happy. The holy fools are gullible enough to lap it up. Not so smart, those ones. Hmm. Can you teach me about the history of this place? This area? <sighs> If I explained the history of the world to every bore of an adventurer who dropped by, I wouldn't have much time to carry out my actual research, would I? You expect everything, you people. One minute you want me to work, next you want to rip me from my bubble of silence and knowledge. Speak to my existence, Dio. Even better, read my books. Go buy my blueprints if you really want knowledge. Well, thank you, Finch. I appreciate that. We will. So obviously he doesn't have a huge amount of time for us. A sad, sad thing. 
Um, so, just sitting around all the shelves isn't, isn't anything crazy cool that we'd want to, uh, try and pick up. But we can, we can have a look in some of these other things here, just, just, uh, just to see what's around. Um, we are gonna want to come back to this place at night, I believe, because the talk of blueprints and... Oh my gosh, yes, just all of the things. However, I don't know what this place will be like at night. I don't know if they'll ban us from being here at night. I don't know. I'm not so sure. I am tempted to, to go ahead and just fast forward throughout the day until we get towards the evening to see if we can pull off a little bit of a mission. You know what? I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So guys and gals, I shall see you in the evening. Okay, we are back. It is 8.30. The sun has gotten lower and there does seem to be less people around at this stage. So we are going to start to try and, uh, well, we'll start off by grabbing just that book there. Let's see if we can pick lock this thing without anyone noticing. We still have some others that seem to like to wander up here occasionally. We'll wait for that to go away before we do anything else. We'll see what's inside of here. Lost to the Ancients. Another book. I don't think the books are actually going to help us out all that much, so we're not going to worry about them too much. Now, these ones over here, I don't think there's much in there. But looking behind there, um, looks like it's pretty much the same story. There isn't actually too much going on on this level, from what we can tell. We've got this one all the way over here, but we are going to be visible. So let's head down to the second level, where there's a chance that there are going to be other things that we'd want to try and grab from here. Namely, those crates there. So let's just have a wander around the back like we're just a, a normal average person. Just chill out and, and hope that they start paying attention to another direction other than the one that we're directly in as that would uh, that would turn out quite badly for us we seem to be still pretty noticed in this place there's a good chance that this is just not going to be a place where we're going to want to try and steal from inside this building stealing knowledge we might want to work our way up to that going for blueprints and other things in this building here might be more what we're after and kind of going off that I think it's probably safer if we move everyone outside of the town just for now just for the sake of safety in case things go wrong because they can and they do go wrong in Kenji quite often uh, I don't think there was anything down the bottom was there no we kind of searched everything out Okay, alright, so we'll head into our first store. Um, they haven't actually even closed yet. I think it's round about now that things should be shutting up. 10 o'clock. Surprisingly still open. Might be open for a little bit later. We're just going to wait another hour outside. Just give it a little bit more time. And we'll just see what's happening. theoretically those doors should close up soon and we'll want to pick them to get inside the guards outside can be um, difficult to work with but we'll see how we do yep they've locked up shop we'll give them a little bit longer for things to kind of settle down a little bit here so I'm not so concerned with this one um, it would actually be here that we're a little bit more concerned with so let's start sneaking we're gonna be semi visible Potentially completely visible. We are completely visible to that shack there who's just turned around and seen us clear as day. Okay. Now believe me when I say that uh, sand is actually really good at sneaking. We're in complete darkness right now. But still, <laughs> that shack's got to have some pretty good perception. Alright, onwards to the next store. We're going to go ahead with sand and go right down to that lowest of movements okay here we go we are committing a crime currently successful that's great we'll just wait for that to go away 
Okay. Now if it gets seen inside the store, they will get pissed off. So let's hope there's no one immediately there. That's good. We'll go close this door. Okay. So what we're looking for, more than anything else, is recipe... Shoot. God damn it. There's someone right there. Huh. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Let's go ahead and start moving out. Cool. That went well. That went very well. So we have the hat merchant all the way down there. <laughs> hey, we could try for hats. Don't think we're going to, but we could try for hats. Uh, no, let's go to the limb store, which is actually still open. That's surprising. I may be a little worrying because it's going to be very difficult to actually take anything from here. Yep, they're saying welcome. Okay. Um, what about upstairs? What if we were to, to run around and go upstairs? We've got one guard all the way over there. Do we have any other guards in here? Not from what we can see. Nice big chest over that side. Let's just go move around into the darkness. Okay. Nothing in the cabinets. Surely it's going to be the safe. And yeah, I can see the hiver is right there, but I don't think the hiver can see us. In the darkness. Okay. Wait for that to go away. Alright. Okay, so. Yeah, our chance here isn't amazing. Now, Ruka, I'm pretty sure it's her left leg? Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is her left, so... Oh, sand buddy. Oh, I, I would love to make his stealing better before now. But I think we might just have to risk it on this. He's just going to try and stuff it in his bag and then run like hell. Um, left leg. Oh, he did it. He did it. He bloody did it. He did it. Oh, you legend. You legend. Right, get it in that pack. Nicely done, son. Okay. Alright. Need to get out of here, boy. Just take what we need. Actually. Hmm. We won't risk it with them. It's just still too, way too visible in this place. Um, did that affect our thievery at all? I'm going to hope so, because it was a difficult steal to pull off. So, now they got two. They got two on each of the doors. Yeah, it's going to be a little harder. Uh, we, we weren't actually able to get up towards this one, though, so we can try and try again. I think they're looking this way, though. Yeah, they're both looking this way. That makes it very difficult. <laughs> to see us running about. I'm not suspicious at all. Not in the slightest. All right, final one we can try is the hat merchant. Yeah, there isn't actually even someone there right now. So, we'll see how that goes for us. Let's get this thing open. And wait. Okay. Let's see if there's someone right there. Uh, there is not. Okay, that's good for us. Good news. Uh, we need to close this door though. There we go. Alright, so let's see. Obviously, locked area over there. Anything that we want to pick up that's around us here. Basic first aid kit, definitely worth it. Standard first aid kit, even worth it as well. So we can see we've got committing a crime going on the side there. But doing that should actually increase our stealing. 
Let's just have a look. Uh, Stealing is still 31, but we've got a little bit more skill in it. Splint kit, we'll go ahead and take that. How are we looking? Go ahead and put those in there. Okay, let's go pick this lock. A lot harder for us to do this one, so it's a chance for us to get some experience. Yep. Just fast forward through that. There we go. Alright. And that's what we're looking for. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. The steel chance here is amazing. But I'm guessing it's because the person must be further away. So does that mean that we're just guaranteed to steal these? 137%? I mean, I'll certainly try. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, that masked helmet is pretty good. I wouldn't mind having a... a masked perception. The samurai cloth pants. Specialist, masterwork. So masterwork is above even specialist. Yeah, holy crap. Okay. Even better pants. Amazing. Um, iron hat. I believe that Hobbs is already rocking an iron hat. No, he's got a straw hat. Let's get him an iron hat. That's a lot better. Bonus to perception and everything. Um, we'll grab those two. Um, we're going to divvy them out. Um... Thievery is still 31, but I imagine it's a little bit better. Uh, I don't see anything else down here. Mid-level, do we have anything? Anything locked away? Nope. What about top level? Top level, yes, but that's literally right next to the sleeping dude. Well, let's see. Let's see if this changes. And then, obviously, there's the very top as well, which I think there might be something there. Okay. Uh, we've got another lock chest there as well. Let's go pick the safe. It's nearly three o'clock at the moment. We need to be aware of that. Okay. Yeah, so you see the steel chance is a lot less here. That makes sense. That's good. So it's based upon the proximity of the guard that's uh, essentially watching. Or the person who's sleeping. That I like a lot. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, alright, let's just go get out of here if we can. Make our way out, um, and we'll essentially destroy the evidence, because we're going to learn... ...these recipes. Recipes! God damn it, blueprints! All the blueprints we could want. Not a bad haul. Oh good, phew, I thought for a second that we might still have, uh heat on us for a bit. Um, hmm. Let's see. Have we had any other... I wonder if we can make it past this this guard that's inside. We, we can try. Because if we get caught, um... Yeah, if we get caught running in, we can kind of try and play it off. Is he still there? He's not there anymore. Okay, so there was a guard right there at the start. There isn't any more. Okay. Alright, we're going to have to be quick with this. Okay. Nothing in the chest. Uh, nothing just hanging about. Okay. We've got another chest over there. Let's go ahead and run to that. We've got another chest right here. Okay, it's right in the light, but we're going to have to be quick because it's getting towards the morning. Come on, sand. Okay. Alright. Ooh. I really want to get that. The katanas, definitely. No Dachi is a maybe, but the katana, definitely. Um, oh, he's right at the back there, that's why. Okay, so we have a chance. We might... This is the part where we might just have to turn and run, and then let the heat die down on us. Um, let's see. Can we pull off katanas? We can. We can. Okay, I'm not gonna get greedy I'm not gonna get greedy yet. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and learn that. 
have a flick through it. I still imagine the idea that we're bringing it back with us. Yeah, they're sleeping right next to those. We're not going to be able to do that. Not easily. Thievery is still 31. I feel like we should have got a bloody level up from all of that, but you know. Successful mission, Sand. Successful mission. We got a leg for Ruka. We got knowledge with a capital K. Um, I still think there is more out there for us. Um, especially in... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's see if we can have a look at the bars. Um, especially upstairs in the bars, because... They were selling ancient science books. And I wouldn't mind an ancient science book. So I believe it was that bar that we went to. We'll see. We'll see if we can pull off one last heist. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Don't mind Sandy. He's just going to sneak on in. Sneak on up to the next level. And hope that you have it just stashed away up here somewhere. Um, if anywhere, it would be up by those... Okay, no one wake up, please. Okay, let that go away. Alright, uh, food and the rest, and our steel chance is actually perfect on those. Let's go loot that cabinet, nothing in there. Okay, so there's food in that one. I mean, food is nice. Wouldn't mind taking some food. Um, better nutrition is the food cubes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and split those out with others. Um, I'll take that and then we'll go arrange and that, that kind of helps <laughs> Doesn't really do anything wait those three seconds and then Let's see. Okay. Uh, it's probably gonna be one of them then isn't it? Okay, we're in complete darkness now, which is what we're after Okay Right sake 100% chance to steal it as well, which is really good. Um, secure wooden chest. Uh, that one's what we're after. Come on, sand. Nope, more bolts. Try the next. Committing crime is still on. A lot of sake. God damn. We'll be able to do some things with that. Still no agent science book. I'm pretty sure that this was the bar. Pretty sure. I don't think they'd have it just sitting in a barrel. But uh, we can check. Oh, it might just actually be sitting in a barrel. Based upon that. Not in that barrel. That's straight up fuel. Um, I don't think we've missed anything up here. Which means that uh, it's got to be downstairs then. I mean, we checked that chest, didn't we? It was empty. Yep. Guy talking about his teddy. Okay, all right. Um, maybe the one that's beneath the stairs. That's going to be awkward and difficult to get to. Okay, we're still in the shadows. Don't get caught, buddy. Sun's starting to come up. Come on. Now it's not time to fail picks. It's going to start getting brighter in here. Okay. And a whole heap of grog, which is worth a lot, but it's not what we're looking for. So where do we think it would be then? It could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. They're so expensive though. Yeah, it's just so expensive that... Hmm. Yeah, I guess... There's no telling which one it could actually be in. It could be any of these barrels. Don't mind, we're, we're just, we're just, just looking. Just having a casual look at your barrels. Take a look around, customer. That's exactly what we're doing. Let's have a chat to you again. Uh, you don't sell, you don't sell them. So maybe I was completely mistaken in that. Maybe it was just, uh this place which if that's the case I kind of screwed that is it just here that sells them because this place was hard enough to try and steal from uh, no it wasn't 
Well, I guess the bar could have potentially changed what it had in it, but, um, yeah. We're going to have one last quick look around. I know this has been an extra long episode because of this, but, um, we'll just see what we've got. Nothing here. And it is daytime, so any kind of thievery would not be easy. Um, you know what? It could have been here. The material place. Um, let's see. Show me your goods. No, you don't have them. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah, there they are. They're bloody here. Okay, so... Oh, I just realized that there was a home and end. Uh, uh, a much smoother version of that. Well, that's some nice camera controls to learn about. Home and end, apparently. Zoom in and out. There we go. Um, yeah, we're unluckily, unluckily we're not going to be able to grab anything in here today. I think even at night, it's going to be a massive task. But yeah, probably in the safe, if I had to guess. And right now, buying two of them. You know what? We're going to do it. We are going to spend some cats here. We've saved a lot tonight. And I think 10,000... It's not all that bad, considering how much we got for free. We got a lot for free. A lot. We know how to make katanas now, which is fantastic. We know how to make a whole heap of different armor types. Also good. Um, yeah. Definitely a success for us. And so as Sand goes to join the others, we're going to decide whether or not we are done for now with the World's End. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Kenshi. This one has taken me a fair bit to record and I don't know what the runtime is going to be after all is said and done but hopefully it's not too long for you all. Thank you for sitting through it. I've been Raikon. You have all been awesome and until next time stay tuned. And to wrap up today's episode we have another piece of fan art from the origami unicorn this piece featuring sand in all his glory back at rebirth swinging his pickaxe and uh the text of the lower right hand frame extinguish the flame very much on point we can see the giant stone structure of the phoenix that towered above sand and all the others that worked at rebirth our goal is to extinguish that flame and I hope that even if it isn't Sand that can carry it out, that his message, that his goal, his dream, one day be realized. Thank you again to the Origami Unicorn for your fantastic art that you've submitted so far. If you'd like to submit your own, you can at the Discord link available right above. Or alternatively, on Facebook and or Twitter. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Kinshi. If you don't know it already, you can pick up the very first piece of Rikon Roleplay's merchandise featuring Leonidas Aventus, the Dragonborn himself. There will be more items added to the store in the coming months, all available at rikonroleplays.com slash store. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the patrons who continue to make this content possible.